Hi, my name is Eric. I'm an irrigation manager. And one of the questions I hear a lot are what are the different sprinkler heads in my system? So the first head we're gonna talk about is the spray head. Here we have a display of four inch, six inch, and 12 inch pop-ups, and also what's known as a shrub riser, which is a nozzle and an adapter on a fixed piece of pipe. Now spray heads are generally used to irrigate smaller areas because their area of coverage is between five and 15 feet. They have an optimal operating pressure of 30 PSI, and they have a precipitation rate between 1.5 and 2 inches. A precipitation rate is a measure of how fast water is being applied to a given area, and it's generally given in inches per hour. Now these are the heads that when they pop up, they have that fixed spray pattern. They're not moving, they're not turning, they're continuously hitting one area, which is very different from the next head we're going to talk about, which is the rotor head. All right, so next we have the rotor head. Now these are the heads when they're operating have the large stream of water that come out of them and they have the turret that rotates from side to side. Now these heads are generally used for larger landscape areas because they have an average radius of throw of between 15 and 50 feet. They have a higher optimal operating pressure of between 45 and 50 psi and they have a precipitation rate which is much lower than spray heads. That's because they have a larger area to cover. So their precipitation rate is between 0.5 and 1 inch per hour. Okay, next we have the rotary nozzle. Now this is kind of a mashup of the first two heads we talked about because it is a micro rotor that goes on top of a spray head body. Now these are generally used for areas between 10 and 30 feet. They have a precipitation rate of between 0.5 and 0.6 inches per hour. So very similar to rotors. And their optimal operating pressure is only around 40 to 45 PSI. Well, one thing you want to remember is you don't want to mix these all on the same irrigation zone. That's because of those different precipitation rates we talked about. Remember, the spray heads here have a precipitation rate that's two to three times more than your rotors or your rotary nozzles. That means a rotor or a rotary nozzle has to run two to three times longer than a spray head to put out the same amount of water. If you have all these on the same zone and you were set your run time minutes based on your precip rate for your rotors, well, your rotors will have plenty of water, but your sprays are gonna have way too much water. If you set that same irrigation zone to run based on the precip rate for your spray heads, well then they'll have adequate amount of water, but the areas with the rotors or rotary nozzles are gonna be severely underwatered. So you don't wanna mix them. They have very mixed precipitation rates and it'd be very uneven watering. So now you know the difference between a spray, a rotor, a rotary nozzle, and why you don't ever wanna mix them all together. <laughs>